Uh. Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, I wanted to do a couple part series uh, through my comprehensive exams um, to kind of look back on, um, but also to uh, just kind of be transparent about this whole process. Um, I think going into my comprehensive exams, even though I talked to people who have gone through them, um, it was kind of, like, you don't know what to expect. Um, and I think that there is a little bit of a difference between um, exp experiencing it yourself and hearing someone talk about it. Um, but I never got detailed like step by step. Um, so kind of wanted to give that opportunity. Okay, so I just finished my first exam um, of five. And my department, the way it works is you have each committee member give you a written exam and the written exam can be whatever length of time that they want um, and however many questions they want. So my first exam was an eight hour written exam with 11 questions. Um, and the whole idea of the exam is just to test what you know. So um, I sat down and I felt really good. I was like, I know a lot of these questions. This is great. I, I expected these questions, so that's really good. And I actually, the question I liked the most was actually what question did you expect me to ask and didn't? Um, and what would your answer be to that question? So I, I really enjoyed that question. Um, but there were a couple questions that I was like, ooh, I don't really know how to answer this. Um, so I was very transparent about it. And I just said, I'm not quite sure. I definitely need to read more uh, about this topic before I can give like a real answer, but this is what I think. Um, and I just did my best with those. Um, but I didn't feel like I left the exam with regrets. Um, and I was very worried about that with having to study during COVID and with my daughter being at home. I, I, was, I was nervous about it. I was afraid I wasn't gonna perform um, to the expectation. Now I don't know how I did because um, I need to meet with them later but we'll see uh, how that'll all play out and how I actually did. I think that exam was the shortest exam I've ever taken in my life. I felt like I sat down to do it. I had coffee and I had energy drinks and um, I didn't even think about food. I got it at like 7.43 and I had till 3.43 to get it back. So I, I was just just banging on the keyboard. I don't know if you've ever seen the gif of the cat just like smashing the keyboard. That's what I felt like. Um, I, I didn't feel like I had time to think. So I haven't even looked at it in the past 24 hours just because I'm afraid I'm gonna find mistakes and I'm gonna panic for the next exam. So for right now, I know what I said and I know what I need to work on so I'm just doing that and then I'll go back um, at least this weekend when I have a couple days to kind of recover mentally um, to start fixing mistakes before I meet with my uh, committee member. I, I think the hardest part mentally wasn't during the exam. I felt like I was in the zone during the exam. Like I said, I had energy drinks and coffee and I, I was good. I sat down and I was just in it. Um, it came in the 24 hours after where I started basically having these ebbs and flows of panic. Um, I would be like, oh my God, did I say this? And then I'd wanna go back and read it. And like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to focus um, and stay in the game for the next exam. Um, and I would be fine and I'd be doing something. And then all of a sudden I would just get this nauseous feeling that overcame um, like it, it was the strangest feeling I've ever felt in my life. I was a competitive cheerleader for 16 years. I was a competitive figure skater for 10. So I know like the competition adrenaline. Um, it felt like that, but it was more intense and acute. At this point, I guess it's just kind of a waiting game and trying not to like lose my mind over my past exam um, before my next one. So it's interesting, it's weird, it's something I've never experienced before, but it's not the end of the world. And I feel like a lot of times, um, because it is such a stressful experience, um, people like to work this out. I, I, I think of it similar to giving birth. 
I think I had a horrible time giving birth. It was really hard. There was multiple times where um, I almost went into a C-section. So it was super stressful, but I was cool as a cucumber. Um, and so people are like, oh my God, that's terrifying. I would be so scared. I'm like, but you're when you're in it, it it's not as bad as it seems. Um, so I think this is a lot like that um, in a weird way. We'll see how much uh, I agree with this in a, in like a couple of weeks when uh, this is all said and done and how everything goes. Um, but I'm just trying to take it for what it's worth and take advantage of the opportunity as much as I can and not get caught up um, in all of the things I might have done wrong or things I could have done better. Um, I think it, it is definitely a mental game. It's knowing what you, it's trying to test what you know, but also trying to test um, how you handle what you don't. So I think that's kind of interesting in that I, I understand that and I'm just kind of accepting it for what it is and just kind of rolling with it. So, I mean, this is definitely one of five. I'm nowhere near the end and I still have an oral exam, but I think right now I feel okay. Um, I'm stressed, but I'm okay. And I think that's um, something to um, just not take for granted. I guess that's the word, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep uh, updating as we go. Um, if you've already taken your exams, um, comment below how you felt after your first one. Um, if maybe you felt like it's, it felt like the worst time ever, or if you felt kind of good. I'm kind of like in this weird in between. I don't know. Like I feel, like I said, I feel good and then I don't feel good. So we'll see how it actually all plays out, but I'm just kind of in this weird limbo right now. So we'll see. I will make a video after my next exam, um, which is tomorrow, and I will let everyone know how that goes. So thanks for watching and I'll see everyone in my next video.